halfway. Yeah. And that's, that's, that's all it's going to yeah, be. Yeah, it's one of those, like, if you know, you know. Like, if you know, yeah, if you know, you know. But you know what we're going to see right now? Sora and Sonic! <laughs> Haven't seen Sora in a while. Love this little kid. He talks too much while he like uh, fights. So here we go, going over to uh, TNC, which you know As we were talking about. We were before. just talking about. That. <laughs> so okay, Helper already looking to try and get himself some space with that side B. Sonic not giving him an inch. Using that homing attack to uh, break Helper's combo right there. Yeah, super smart using the home attack in order to kind of keep Helper or at least Sora's combos out of uh, out of being continued. And using uh, the Sonic Spin Dash in order to avoid that Thundaga is super smart. You're converting it into a back air right there. That you tried, you tried. <laughs> yeah, no, we talked before about how Sonic Fiend has that sort of aggressive Sonic, but I think what really makes that is how Sonic Fiend uses Sonic Speed not just for, you know, running away and positioning, but to really mix up that rhythm. Sonic has that sort of burst movement, especially in homing attack, which is so much better in ultimate, like no other. Yeah, definitely agreed right there. Ooh, avoid, just barely burning the, the, the Fire Aga right there. Thondaga now on deck, and Helper trying perfect. Not quite getting all three hits, you can definitely fall out of that uh, with good SDI, and just overall you can fall out of it pretty easily. And Sonic Fiend not letting himself get this stock taken from him at any time. Oh, no. So scary for Helper's shield especially, and scary for Sonic Fiend, you know. Uh, hitting homing attack on shield like that is, you know, he has some options out of it, but you can get red really hard. All right, I should be able to come back from that. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, and using the side to actually shark uh, get Sonic Team trying to go for an F smash at ledge. Both characters at a really high percent right now. A lot of Sora's like stray things will kill right now. Ooh, actually, got the air dodge out of the uh, the down air there. Both? Yeah, anything like a Sora like down smash, any like down tilt, back throw especially will kill right now for uh, for Sonic Fiend. And even and Sonic Fiend's gonna be looking for what? Up air will be the one to take it. Up air coming to the ledge, you know, getting Sonic Fiend right there where he wasn't really expecting it in my opinion. Will t Ooh, Ooh, great no tech, tech, but he Oh yeah, two fame with the, the forward smash, yep. Yep, Sora absolutely could have made it back, but Sonic Fiend not having any of it. Ooh, thrown out the counter, Sonic Fiend not fighting. No good, that counter is super strong. Great job you didn't run in right into it. Uh, I don't think it would do too much against Sonic as it did at this stage, at this uh, percentage level. Thundaga the wrong way likely was maybe uh, just a miss, uh, miss turn. Yeah, miss input. I, I do like what Helper did there, uh, using the up air to negate the spring hitbox and a nice anti-air with the up tilt. That was super smart. He had to do that way more often doing that, that cause I, was, I didn't know that would just negate it just like that, the, the up tilt. Huh? Ooh. Yeah, just... Wow! Okay. F smashes the side B, and now something with a fairly health, or healthy lead. Yeah, having a great lead right now. Needs a little bit more extra credit to kind of solidify that lead he has going on against Helper. But you know what? He's doing great on TNC. Right now we have a mega platform stage at the moment. That last hit, Thundaga, not quite going to take it for Sonic Queen. And he's going to be fishing for a lot more of these... Um, these back airs and also these up airs that he likes to do as Sonic after a, a uh, dash attack. Okay, no punish on the Blizzaga right there. I really like uh, what Helper is doing by just throwing out this single Faraga uh, to force an option out of Sonic King. You know, even if it's just shielding, it's still pressure. But Great. speaking of pressure, mm -hmm. that back air getting Helper uh, Sonic King's second stock, but 76% on Helper right now. See if you can make some of that up right now. Already about halfway there. Yeah, definitely making it up very easily with uh, with kind of Sora's auto combos they'd be able to do with Nair 1, Nair 2, Nair 3. Definitely being able to fish for that as much as he can. And also making sure he doesn't get caught linearly by Sonic Fiend. And then not quite going to take it all from that side of the stage, but Helper will be able to come back on stage. Of course, Sora with great recovery. So I'm not going to take it either. I do want to point out that Helper's been doing that down air uh, from the top of Town and City a lot. <gasps> There's no what? way. Oh my god. God on town and city side blast <laughs> helper with the little the little like oh, I guess that killed. I'm like, alright. Sure. That just came out that was like so quick. It came out of nowhere. Hit him with like the baseball swing. Yeah, trying to get the fun dog off the stage, which oh no, no tech right there. And getting two frames. Yep, alright, and it looks like we are gonna be going right back to TNC. Mm-hmm. Which I agree with, you know, great stage for Sonic. 
Three, Wait, he's two, and oh my god, that was that was just like go. a hail mary. <laughs> it was. Straight up, just like this is gonna kill, it's gonna kill from mid stage, and it did. So yeah, again, we're going right back to TNC. Uh, not not a bad counter uh, counter pick. Of course, it's not an amazing choice for him, but we've seen that helper can is uh, pretty established on this stage anyway as Sora. So let's see what Sonic can do to, in order to adapt to the situation and give himself that lead that he needs to be, that he had earlier in the game. Again, that single Faraga is hitting Sonic Fiend out of the uh, the spin charge animation. <laughs> Threatening the ledge. You will not be two-framing me today, sir. Ooh, and another yep. great catch with the side B. Actually catching uh, Sonic Fiend landing with the spin charge. Uh, making sure he didn't have any of that first movement left. And then the thing with Sonic Fiend on these kind of stages, especially when we have a more uh, this kind of format going on, is that he will be more linear with his attack. So that's when you can really catch easily as Sora with counter, with a nair, with a uh, Sonic Blade, anything like that. We'll be able to kind of negate uh, Sonic Fiend's typical Russian movement. Ooh, tried to Faraga Sonic Fiend going to the spring. I feel like Helper probably could have gotten something better off of that. I know Sonic Fiend loves to play with that grounded spring. And, uh, doing that sort of messing messing with the rhythm like we talked about before. Uh, Ooh, just down nice. the spring over and over again. All right, Helper off stage here. Ooh, misses the aerial spring. Uh, and Helper is able to just get back to stage. Right, Again, that Bazooka was a really good uh, choice from Helper in order to kind of negate Sonic Fiend's movement at that moment. And allow him to have a safer option oh, of coming yeah. no tech. But no, we're, we're, we're Sora, we're fine. He's absolutely fine. Never give up. Oh! <laughs> freeze! Freeze and then die immediately after. All right, I think Helper was trying to go for an invincible grab there. Uh, after might have done it? I don't know. No rage, but time to see Blast Zones. One more up there might do it for Sonic Fiend if he's able to land it right now. Not, not getting that, but getting that up there. There we go, finally. <laughs> and Helper, only 26%, still very even game. Uh, you, I like uh, running off and using the counter uh, so that Sonic Fiend can't run up and grab him while he's invincible, so Helper gets that. Yeah, he covers his options there for an invincible Sonic. Yeah, definitely. And again, both characters at a pretty respectable percentage at the moment. I wouldn't say anyone's in really disadvantage right, th right now. All you have is really Sonic is just jumping over these Thundagas, right over the hitboxes. Now let's not get hit by those at all. And also, Helper slowly starting to find a rhythm between Sonic Fiends, Spin Dashes, and Dash Attacks as well. Not Oof. able to get these nares out of shield, and not getting that Helper either. Oh, great that Mega Placement finally getting those three hits for uh, Helper Green. Gonna be really useful for that percentage he really needs. Oh, actually gets the freeze this time. Not able to get too much out of it. And another counter. I really feel like these counters haven't panned out for Helper this entire set. Yeah, I think he's. he's Sonic, is, Sonic is able to kind of. Um, time it more easily as, as he holds spin dash longer and longer in order to avoid that counter because he does not want a repeat of game one. Oh, beautiful. anti-recovery. Just this giant solid wall of friendship spinning power is Sora. Ooh, great spacing there with the side B. Getting him right back to ledge. Sonic Fiend might have thought Helper was going to the ledge there. I don't see how how smart using that Fireaga right there in order like two hits and then running and grab while Sonic Team was inoccupied by the uh, his, by the hit lag of the uh, of the Fireaga was super smart on some helpers and and helps him kind of get a little bit more of an extra credit while he has a really let's say stock percentage but now he's at zero percent pretty much an even game. Yeah, I was gonna say Sonic, uh, Sonic Fiend's patience there was so good. Just waiting waiting for the one opening that he needed in Helper's flanking right there as Helper was throwing out all sorts of hitboxes and Thundagas. Sonic Fiend just needed to get in and get that one F tilt. Yeah, just, you have to really wait out that uh, that spin dash attack from Sonic Fiend because he will just simply wait it out. Getting the last, wow! From that far, th uh, Blazaga, okay. Not getting the grab right there, instead of getting uh, punished by Sonic Fiend with the anti, with the anti airs. Did that combo the Faraga into the side B? That was actually really cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. He's throwing out the Faragas. And now I think this is roughly where we were in game one, where Sonic Fiend had a bit of a lead, but <gasps> instead it down. is Sonic Fiend getting the Hail Mary F Smash. Yeah, down beat right into that F Smash hitbox, that goofy big hand hitbox. Definitely does not for Helper for his lead that he had. Now we have pretty much, you know, even set at the moment going over to game three. 
uh, Banding uh, Battlefield and Smashville. And I do want to point out that I do think Helper has been doing that particular down air a lot where he does it so high up that, you know, it falls within the auto cancel window. He's going to be able to do things as he lands. But if Sonic Fiend is ready to throw out that giant cartoon fist, yeah, then that giant cartoon. Helper's, Helper's losing his stock and he's losing game two for it, too. Yeah, really unfortunate end for Helper. It's, it's still reactable from that high, of course. So here we go, going right back at it. Over to Hollow Bastion, a new stage for uh, Zeno. Right, we got our new uh, new stage list. Yeah, update stage list, reverse Gucci story. So good. <laughs> Self care, no tilts. You shall not be missed. You shall not be missed by like 90% of us. Yoshi's did nothing wrong. <laughs> Numbers? <laughs> I didn't. Okay, I got Shamba for a second. <laughs> Nah, I'm playing. I, I took people. We're, we're, I took people to Yoshi's We're playing. Too, we're so. playing. We're playing around numbers. We're playing around. <laughs> it's just a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. Over here, it was not a joke. It's this lead that Helper has against Sonic Fiend on uh, on Sora stage. No, Sonic Fiend being really patient as much as he can be in order to avoid that Thundaga and those uh those uh forward air, forward tilts that Helper uh, that Sonic that Hello that Helper was throwing out. Right now, it looks like we're starting to see Helper play the camping game. Oop, all right, no, he's going to be siding in and getting himself a little bit of a punish. Long lasting hit of the dash attack. He's going to be putting Sonic Fiend back off stage. Uh, up in the wrong way, though, putting Sonic Fiend back in center instead of getting the kill. Yeah, I don't think this stage is actually very, um, very good for Sonic. I've definitely taken Sonic Fiend over to the stage before. And I can see the benefit between having to go between TNC and FD and have to deal with uh, that middle platform on Hollow Bastion. So, this is definitely something a little bit not in uh, Sonic's advantage. And definitely, I think, better for Sora because that mid platform you have at, under you at all times, or above you at all times. And Ooh. right now, Helper, Helper with a lead. Let's see if we can start it. Alright, yeah, Blazaga at low percentages. Sonic Fiend is mashing out of that, and he's getting the homing attack. So, yeah. you know, something the Helper's got to keep in mind is that those low percent freezes, again, the homing attack, you cannot follow up on that against Sonic Fiend. And he will match out of that set at that low percentage. And catching with the upbeat, the uh, mid spin dash is super smart on uppers end. But as we were saying, the Zaga does last longer with a higher percentage and hard, and it's hard to match out. So, you know, keep that in mind. Uh, how about keep that in mind well, if he wants to get that those Zaga kills? Not able to punish the whip, the whip up smash. Great angling with the side beam. Trying Damn. to make sure he doesn't get too frame, but he does get hit on the leg there. I think that might have been a, a re grab. Yeah, he basically just negated uh, Helper's Uppy with the Forest Smash. <laughs> the slide under the uh, spin charge. There we go. It's been bad. Still mashing out super fast with that with the Blizzaga at that high percentage was really good. Oh, take him, take him a moment to breathe. Kind of protect himself. Yeah, I agree. Sonic Fiend, uh, he kind of got his soul red there. Uh, the helper just hitting, he knew exactly where Sonic Fiend was going to start charging that homing attack, and he lost his stock for it. And only and zero percent right now on Helper uh, on his second stock. He is sitting healthy here in this game three. Yeah, Helper is not letting Sonic Fiend get anything he wants. He can't lose as much as he can. Just super smart. I'm really glad he's using as often as he is because against someone like Sonic, he will get caught in that typically because he comes so linearly. So, you know, great move on Helper to kind of avoid using Fire Rocka and use Blizzard as often as he can. Oh. Running in with the side B, not getting the the third hit. And he, Instead, he took uh, a couple of percent for it. But yeah, I'm still, surprised he didn't go for a third hit. Sonic Fiend just hasn't really been able to get anything started for quite a while now. Death attack, and not much. We're right back to neutral. Helper is, Helper is sitting pretty thrown out. All of his projectiles. Yeah, Sonic Fiend doesn't really uh, have anything to do with Sonic with that middle platform in the way. And I think that's what the issue is uh, with this stage against Sonic. So. He has to really adapt this to the situation and take away what Helper is using against him, which is using that a lot of that close base to his advantage. Ooh, nice. Ooh, not grabbing a the ledge there. Great job, Boy Shield. Make sure not to get hit by a, by a potential third hit of the Sonic Blade. Yeah, but I mean, that's so good for Helper because even just the threat of the third hit gave Helper the frames that he needed to get back to center stage yep. and not worry about taking a punish. Trying to get the scoop hitbox of the up tilt. 
You're not quite going to get it using Thunder, Thundaga to kind of stall his recovery. Super smart move. Sonic King standing in front of the, thund the Thundaga hitbox is just so he's funny. Just like, <laughs> Bro, I am just standing here. He's like, man, standing. I'm literally just here. I'm literally just vibing. Not getting the counter that he really wants like he did last, uh, the first game. Yeah, like you were saying, this platform is doing wonders for Halpa right now. Uh, getting all that he wants out of Sora's neutral boot. Right there, he threw out the Thundaga and then immediately moved under the platform to do the Blizzaga to make sure that Sonic Fiend couldn't come down in from the bottom. Oh, there's no way. Okay, you're I'm fine, you're I've fine. never seen my Oh, that's that. Okay. Ooh. The Blizzaga actually helped Sonic Fiend not take the not eat that move like that. But that back throw will definitely not take it. Not able to capitalize on Helper in the special fall right there, and instead Sonic Fiend was the one to lose his stock. Yeah. That was a really oh, that was a very five minutes gone throughout the game. I didn't feel it didn't feel like it at all. Yeah, no, Helper's drift there was so good, and he was able to catch Sonic Fiend's landing lag on look that how, forward air. Look how like relieved Helper looks when Sonic Fiend with the the forward smash. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh my god. You saw the, the, the eyebrows relax. He was like, he was chill, <laughs> and then he was like, oh, I got it. That must have been a very scary situation. He had, he had a whole stock to kind of play with, so would have been that devastating had he been got, got, gotten uh, hit by the forest smash. But that 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 neutral getup invincibility really came in clutch for him in the last stock. It really did. Yeah, I, I love Sonic Fiend just kind of waiting behind the Thundaga, like, do it, you won't. Do it, do it, do it. Angle hit me. I gotta say, I always love watching Sonic Fiend in the player cam. He he's a very animated player. <laughs> I love it. I've always loved watching Sonic Fiend. Like just just interacting with him. Bro, right. he's just super animated, super oh, yeah. happy, super like just like a. <laughs>